Hey there and welcome back uh, and in this video I'm going to explain the receiver options and what I chose for the receiver for the Radian Pro and why. Uh, my original plan before I bought this was to uh, use a 7 channel receiver and I owned one. It's an AR7610 uh, with an external um, antenna. 7 channels and I figured it might be better to have 7 channels. Uh, but it turns out it doesn't fit. Uh, you can see this receiver is quite large as compared to a AR6210. Uh, it's uh, significantly larger uh, and uh, or the AR610. Okay so after I figured out that the AR7610 uh, seven channel just wouldn't fit in the receiver uh, location below I'll show you in just a second. Um, the 6210 would fit, but then this would have to be on the outside. I decided that wasn't really necessary. Um, so I used the AR610 receiver with uh, one antenna here, big long antenna here, and um, um, it just fit, uh, almost. Uh, so the AR7610 the reason, as I, the reason I say it almost fits is all of the uh, connectors from the servos go here and they stick up. And um, so I'll show you that. Um, so here is the, around right here, okay. So here is the AR7610 and there are the connectors right there. Okay, and it's uh, stuck down with Velcro, and I've got all the wires um, pushed together uh, and tie wrapped here, and the little um, the wires from the two servos you see here are extremely short, and they barely fit the distance needed, um, and even at that they were sticking up. Okay, so what you see here is the four um, um, wires coming in from the wing, because there's four servos in the wing. The flaps use a Y harness like this that comes with the airplane. Uh, they give you two of these in case you want to use one for the uh, elevator, I'm sorry, one for the ailerons and a different one for the flaps. But because we're using a six channel, um, aux one is the le left aileron. The aileron channel is the right aileron. Uh, rudder and elevator are as usual. The um, uh, throttle is in the throttle channel and the flaps are on the Y connector in the uh, gear channel. And uh, you'll see more details about that uh, when I go over the programming uh, in the uh, Spectrum Radio. So they all barely fit. Um, with this sitting up, the problem became that if you try to put this little hatch on, um, it just wouldn't go down. Okay, so um, uh, there's a good solution for that too. Uh, I'll show you what that is. So as you um, find out the ins and outs and quirks of an airplane, you get uh, figuring out some, some, some solutions for problems like this. So what you have here is you got to protect this because you're landing on that. Plus you want to get the uh, antennas um, positioned so that they'll work well um, and uh, out the side here. Um, so first off let me show you that. Um, this antenna here which is the receiver uh, long antenna it's just going to be taped onto the side out there like that. And then this antenna for the uh, uh, telemetry module, by the way, let me make sure you see where the telemetry module is, okay? The telemetry module is stuck right down here. There, there it is right there. You can see it. Okay, that's the telemetry, the wire connection for the telemetry module. This first little wire here that I'm holding up is the wire from the data port here to the first port on the receiver, which is the bind data port. And remember, bind data means that you can use telemetry. 
if the port doesn't say bind data, uh, then you can't use telemetry. Uh, uh, AS3X receivers say bind program, and it can't use a telemetry module. Now, I want a telemetry module. So the, the telemetry module is just sort of sitting loose in there. It's not going anywhere because it's going to get held down by the tape, and I'll show you in a minute. <clears throat> okay, so now that I got all that in and where I wanted it, um, I use something called 3M um, Blenderm, 3M Blenderm tape, and it's surgical tape, but it works great for airplanes. So here's a roll of it, okay? I use a two-inch roll. Uh, I also have a um, handy uh, one-inch roll and a half-inch roll if I want, um, but the two-inch roll seems to work for uh, a lot of applications, uh, although the, the one-inch roll you can use Blenderm tape for uh, hinges and uh, other kinds of repairs and so forth. So, um, the first thing I want to do, let me sort of tip this down here so you can see what I'm doing. Okay. Like that, all right. So, the first thing I wanted to do, and by the way, get a good pair of scissors to uh, cut the Blenderm tape. It won't tear very well, it uh, stretches it's a stretchy kind of a tape, so you need uh, scissors to uh, um, cut it. So the first thing I want to do is um, hook down that uh, antenna here, okay? And so I'm going to just take a small piece of tape and uh, cut it. and then just hook it with a couple of sections of tape. And I want this to be toward the bottom um, so that it's easily um, received uh, from the bottom of the aircraft. This, thing, this aircraft isn't going to be upside down very much, <laughs> or not upside down for very long anyway. Um, so uh, I'm going to use a second piece and hold that uh, uh, antenna for the uh, receiver just in place like that okay and so that'll give it good reception on the bottom just like that and um, then the antenna from the telemetry module uh, I could put it out either side um, it's already on this side so I think I'll put it out this way I don't want the two antennas to touch <clears throat> now <coughs> um, these antennas will work well through um, the aircraft and sitting on the outside like this it won't be a problem. Um, the telemetry module if it um, if it loses um, connection you're not going to lose anything but data. So uh, okay. So let's see another little piece right there. And um, the antennas are mounted. Okay. So there you go. Now you can see that the uh, the uh, telemetry module antenna is there, being held. And this one is. I put a little slit in the foam right there, and then taped it back like that. So uh, those two ten antennas won't bother one another and should work well. Um, uh, by the way, as I, if I don't remember if I said it or not, the receiver is being held down by Velcro. Uh, so sticky back Velcro on the foam and a sticky back Velcro on the receiver. And uh, it's being held in place there. And then all the wires are connected with a... Uh, and held down with a uh, uh, one tie wrap. <clears throat> so now, um, oh yeah, one, one more important thing. Um, the telemetry module, remember, here's, here's what te telemetry module looks like, okay? So it's got a, um, a big long antenna like this, and it has the three ports, and what you saw here was the three ports sticking up. That way, the wire that connects the data port here to the data port on the receiver is only about that long, so they have to be fairly close to one another. 
and so that works. And then uh, I showed to you earlier the voltage pack for the sensor, uh, voltage sensor, uh, where you plug in the battery, and uh, that's what that is. There's a the number for it. Okay. And um, uh, last but not least is the variometer. Okay. So this variometer, I showed you, I think, in the first video, um, uh, will tell me uh, the uh, whether it's ascending or descending and the current altitude. Um, and it goes into the uh, TM-1000 has a port on the side right here called a, a, uh, S, an X-Bus, an X-Bus port. And the uh, variometer goes in that. And in order for it to be uh, out of the wind, you don't want the variometer in the wind because it's uh, there to sense barometric pressure. And so that, that variometer is going down and into this little cavity right here where the wires come out for the four uh, servos and the wings. And it uh, uh, sits down in there very well and will be out of the wind. Okay, <clears throat> so now to make sure that we get as little dust and dirt in there as possible, uh, I want to cover this uh, with this Blenderm tape. So, um, what I'm going to do is not seal it. I don't want to seal it. I want some air in there. And which might also mean that some dirt gets in there. But that's okay. We can take the Blenderm tape off easily. And uh, uh, so that's going to cover where the servo arms are. And uh, that should not interfere. They're down in far enough. Okay. I will actually test that to make sure. But I did it earlier and it seemed to be fine. And then I'm going to put a piece of Blenderm in to cover the uh, where the connectors are. Okay. This is good sticky stuff too and it's stretchy. And I'll cover the front part of this and there's about a quarter inch overlap on each of these. And um, that's all there is to it. Okay, so that's how the receivers are all put in, um, and the blend term tape is going to hold it. There's a small opening here for the barometric pressure um, and airflow to get out if it's needed. Uh, you do want some airflow in from the battery compartment, uh, although these don't get very hot. Um, the battery compartment is still cool. And uh, um, if I if I see that the battery is getting too hot, I can probably take this last one uh, out um, to get more airflow out. But I think that will be just fine. So that's the receivers and the options and why I chose the AR610 and how I mounted them. So I thought I'd add one more point about the uh, airplane. Um, I had to make sure all this fit, and it wasn't obvious from the beginning when I first after I first opened the box and read the instruction manual and looked at the airplane carefully. I wasn't sure how all that receiver and stuff was going to work. Um, so I mounted the wings. Mounting the wings are not hard. The tube you follow the instructions in the in the in the manual pretty clear. You have a tube. And you have uh, uh, the four leads from the four servos pull up into this uh, center section here and you screw it in with a screw here and a screw here. So that was pretty simple. Um, so what happened was after I got it all done yesterday um, and everything was set, I'm going, okay, let's go try it out. It was a beautiful afternoon and uh, so I took it flying which is not my normal way of doing things, uh, but uh, it uh, worked well. And so you'll get to see uh, 
several videos about this flying and the in intricacies of actually launching and flying it in future videos. So thank you for watching and stay tuned for additional videos.